Okay, I'm going to try something, a test, which is experiments, which I absolutely love doing. Um, this is my foil quill. Unlike the real foil quills, the original ones were made with this uh, safety feature where this plastic went all the way almost to the end, like there, which was very good. I mean, it certainly is more dangerous being exposed like that, but has no uh, particular hazard using it back in with my Cameo. But what I'm trying to do now is to see how it will work with, let's see if I can find my foil, here's my foil, um, as a freehand uh, foiling. What I have here is the very, very thin foil. I think this happens to be the memory keepers. And something that could not easily go through my cameo, it's pretty thick, as you can see. It might, it's leather. But if this were a book cover, this is a very a piece of leather that I have that I cut off. I even cut a little hole in it. And what it is is a test. And what I'm going to do is test it on both sides. First thing I'm going to do is I have a traced design. Okay, I traced it on tracing paper. I'll have to go, uh, I have to be careful about this little hole here. But all I'm going to do is try to get this design on there. Um, the, these are not as ergonomically nicely designed as the pens, but I, I have so many heating tools now, and I do like the fact that they're USB, which I think they get a little bit hotter, but I'm not really sure. At any rate, I just want to um, see how this works. So let's, the thing, by cutting the ends of the pens off, with my husband did it with a Dremel, Probably should sanded that little scraggly bit down there, but uh, you can at least see where your pen is. And here I am going to slowly, this is the medium size. I had him do it to all of them. And I, it would have been nice if I could have taped this and not get my fingers in there because I wouldn't want to burn it burn my fingers. So what I'm doing is tracing over the tracing paper carefully and fairly slowly to see what I can get. Now the leather is you know, not a flat surface exactly. It's got a few bumps in it as leather really does. So let's see what this does. And take it away, take the paper away, and remove the foil. And yes, I didn't do it completely. Um, but let's see, I don't, I really, hmm. Yeah, there, I could almost use the edge of the foil where something might have been missing, where I didn't press it down good enough. You can just use the edge of it. But so that works beautifully. Now, the other side of, suede, of uh, leather is like suede. So let me see what we can do there. And I'll get that tracing paper design again, although I probably can't use it again, or maybe I can. You can see it's, I pushed down on it hard enough. It's probably not gonna last for too many uses, but let's see what I can get on the suede. Maybe I'll even use the same, the same design. And here I go. There's less resistance. I see that the bumps of the leather on the other side, uh, even though the suede has a texture, it's, uh, and, and I'm still going over the same lines that I 
or indentations that I created before. Let's see. So let's see what that does. It looks like it took because I can see it. Ah, but not as good. Not as good. So, suppose I don't trace and I just scribble something right on the foil. The tracing paper is a barrier. And it and the closest you can come to the foil without having a barrier, the better. But I can see that the uh, the suede, maybe I'm not pressing as hard. If I just don't press too hard, I don't get interference here. And uh, let's see if I've got some down here. Let's see what happens when I don't have a tracing design and I just go full manual. Yeah, it does a better job than going through the tracing paper. This is the tracing paper design. This is freehand. And let's see if I can try this again. And, uh, and it might even better uh, work with the fine tip. I don't know. Now I'm not pressing so hard. I'm pressing rather lightly. So I get a, a design, but obviously the texture of the item affects the quality, the smoothness. Uh, this is much uh, smoother on this side, even though the leather has um, a texture as well. So uh, what I didn't do is text, uh, use this foil quill freehand on this leather. So let me use the piece that I haven't done and just kind of freehand a design and see what happens. I think this will work a little bit better, even without um, pressing down so much. Okay, that was very lightly pressed. And look, turned out, I'm sorry, I was off camera while I was doing it. But look at the design. Obviously, if you can keep a barrier, even though you might need a tracing, and I didn't press this hard, and there you go. You can use your foil quill if you can manage to cut off a tiny bit uh, so that you can see what you're doing. You can foil on pretty near anything. I do believe I tried this on uh, a wooden popsicle stick and I did some foiling on it as well. Let's see if I have any free space on this and I can show you that right now, but you can do it on wood. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. So again, using the tip of the foil quill, this is the medium one. And it certainly has heated up nicely by now. And I can kind of see what I'm doing. You can't because uh, of the angle. Now this is a piece of pop, uh, craft stick. And uh, let's see. Yeah, it, it did pretty well, actually. See? So, and I was always trying to play with my logo. So foil quill, to get it on something that you can't fit through the Cameo machine would work. Now, the other thing that I have found is, is uh, useful, and I don't have any handy, are, are paper stencils, or stencils not so much made of plastic, but cardstock. So if you have a, a friend that has a Cameo machine, or if you do, save, you know, and you've cut little things out of your Cameo machine, save the background pieces because they can be used as a stencil. Let me just show you what I mean.
And this is a cardstock template. I mean, I, I cut these little leaves out, or whatever they are. I think they're leaves, a long time ago, and saved this. So for stenciling, uh, for... I wish I had more space on here, but I don't. So let me find something else I can foil really easily and handily. <laughs> so let's just see. Okay, I did find the foil that I was playing with. It, it got turned upside down, and I was looking for gold, and there it was. I didn't even see it. But anyway, here's what I wanted to tell you about. If you need um, to uh, have a guide, you can use the stencil. You can use the tracing paper, but that has some limitations. The best material that if they made it without the gold foil attached, remember I... I mentioned that a lot. See this carrier sheet that actually has the foil on it? Save any, if you are able to get a clear piece like that, yes, like that. And how I got that was I work with polymer clay. Polymer clay has a tackiness so that when I put this down on the polymer clay and ripped it off, I'll show you right here because I have it handy. This is my polymer clay piece. Uh, and what I did was, it's just got polymer clay on there. And what I did was, let's see, it was sitting here. Let's see, maybe sort of like that. No, maybe like that. Anyway, yeah, here it goes. And then I rubbed it on to the polymer clay and then ripped it off real fast. And I have a nice clear section. So I can use this in my polymer clay work, so that's good. So I'll set that aside. But don't throw this away, because this is where, if you wanted to trace something, um, to, to be able to use, say I wanted to trace that, you could get a pen out, and you can trace this design on here. I won't do all of it. But what I'm trying to show you is how handy this is. By the way, these pens are graphic liner pens. And this one happens to be the O2 mark uh, version or O2 size. And it, it, caught, it um, takes the ink pretty well. So you could actually trace your design um, on here. And because you know this material, since it carries the foil, is heat resistant, you can use it. You see what I've done is transfer, whoops, let me take this out of the way so you can see it, transfer the design. I didn't do the whole thing. So if I cut this piece out and place it over, over an unused piece of foil, like over here, I could use this as the guide for my foil quill or foil pens or whatever. This is absolutely the best material. It's super, super thin. It's pretty strong. You can use a pen and it's clear and you can tape it down right on top of a part of gold foil that you want to transfer. So you have the guide for your a foil quill or foil pen. Uh, but this is the material I wish they would sell clear without the foil on it because if they did sell sheets of that it would be pretty near perfect because it's better than the tracing paper the tracing paper still is a bit thick and and can interfere this would not interfere and the heat doesn't bother it either so that's what I was trying to convey for a guide especially for handwriting or something like that uh, to keep it straight, to give you a guide while you're using the foil pen. And um, that would do the trick. You could definitely cut this out, put it on a piece of foil, and off you go. So uh, that's what I was trying to tell you. Um, the polymer clay will, will take the foil off and pretty, and it doesn't matter that bits of it are still, the tiny bits of it are still adhering. It just doesn't matter. You can still see enough to trace. Um, but a piece of polymer clay is sticky enough, so if you have any of that laying around, 
you can actually waste a sheet of this. And I suspect, and I haven't tried it yet, but let me try it now. I suspect uh, it's shiny enough that maybe it could be erased. Yeah, if I used a little bit of alcohol on here, uh, I could just erase it. So I could have one sheet of this that I could use pretty much all of the time to trace some designs instead of using tracing paper. This is the material that I uh, would really, really wish they sold. You can trace it, probably use it several times. A little bit of alcohol would probably remove that marker. And you could use it uh, one sheet many, many times. You could actually tape it down or use the magnet strips if you have a metallic platform to stretch it and hold it. And you could get some very good results. So that's the thing I have been clamoring for. Maybe someday they'll figure out how to... Or, or maybe people will find this sheet in clear form somewhere that is heat resistant. And then that would be ideal. So if any of you find it, let me know. Because I sure would like to have a nice clean piece or several clean pieces to use for this purpose. Okay, that should do it.